So here's a question I've been getting asked so many times the last few months. How do I make my Zoom calls better? Well, keep watching. Good afternoon, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. And this is a tech-ish episode where we talk about tech things for the not so techy. With everything moving towards work from home, people getting stuck at home, people doing so much of their work on the internet and on calls, I've gotten this question or variations of this question so many times. How do I make the videos in my Zoom calls better? How to fix my Zoom call audio? What light would be good for Zoom calls? In this video, we're gonna talk about exactly that. And well, these tips will more or less apply to any calling platform you use on your computer. Let me preface this video by telling you guys that if you're looking for the ultimate best camera call setup, this ain't it, bruh. Also, if you want the ultimate best, that will cost you a lot of money. In this video, we're looking at easy hacks, affordable solutions, even what setup variations I personally use, and also what you can do or what you need to look for when setting up so that you can figure this out depending on your own need. And lastly, a reminder that the best setup is really what works for your specific needs. Right, let's get to it. So we're gonna talk about three things, lighting, video, and audio. As we go along, know that you can mix and match these three things depending on what's easy for you, what your preference is, or what your priority is when it comes to video call quality. Also, know that we're talking about all this assuming that you have stable internet so that's not the problem anymore. Although that is always the problem, really. Right, first off, lighting. I always say this and hold this true in my heart. Good lighting can make or break a video. So you need good lighting and you need good lighting in the right direction. So that is in front of you on your face versus behind you. And like what I just showed you, the best solution is really to sit in front of a bright window. Natural light is free and it's one of the best lighting situations you could ever hope for. And yes, sitting in front of a window is one of the selfie hacks that I use a lot. But if you can't find your light, meaning you don't have a window to sit in front of for your call, a tiny ring light will work wonders. And no, I don't even mean something that looks like that. A ring light this small is just perfect. This specific one I got from Lazada and I didn't even pay 400 pesos for it. It comes with some phone holders and a tiny tabletop tripod but you know since I get extra I used this old gorilla pod and mounted it on a shelf in front of my desk and this is actually my Facebook live or my call setup. And man, you can see the lighting difference this thing makes. It has three light settings. You have a blue light, a yellow light, and the combination blue and yellow light. There are even different brightness settings for this thing, and it plugs directly to a USB, and yeah, it's as easy as that. So this thing, you cannot imagine how many people have asked me about this without realizing how a small and affordable thing can improve your call so much, but yeah. You're welcome. The second element would be video. We're talking about the actual video taker now, meaning what device, what camera you're using to shoot the video that's gonna be on the call. Your laptop probably has a camera on there too, but usually webcam cameras aren't the best. Yes, even on the new MacBook. So the quick fix really is to use your phone. These days, selfie cameras on smartphones are very powerful and I guarantee you that more often than not, you are holding a phone that has great selfie capacities. And that also means better video calls. And yeah, I get it. A lot of you would want to just do your calls on your laptop. And the best and the easiest solution to improve your cameras on whatever laptop you're already using is we go back to number one. Good lighting. You see, the best way to make a not so good camera take better images is to give it ideal shooting situations. 
And you can do that by applying what we spoke about in number one. Okay, let's say you did all this, but you still really want to up your video quality. And if you have a camera, you can buy this tiny thing. So this is what they call a video capture card, or as I call it, a camera connect thing. <laughs> what this does is it takes what your camera supposedly shows you on a screen and then it puts it in your computer. So gamers actually use this and if you want to do better quality live streams, you can also use this. Take note though that you'll need a camera with an HDMI output. It's basically that plug here and then you need an HDMI cord, plug it into the camera connect thingy. Yes, the video capture card. And then that should plug into your laptop. Make sure that HDMI output info display is turned off because otherwise your call might actually show you all those weird camera settings. And yes, Zoom does allow you to change around and toggle which camera you're using. So just go into settings and from here you can pick out which camera to use. So as you can see here, there is an option to use my webcam or the camera that is now connected via the camera connect thingy and you can just switch between the two if you want to be fancy about it oh also there's a built-in beauty mode in zoom that makes you look oh so fresh and it also works with your webcam or external camera so yay but yeah anyway i personally use my xt20 with this camera connect thingy and it generally works okay except well for certain cameras like mine, ports are a little tight. They're positioned too near each other, so I can't really plug it into the power source if the HDMI cord is in. So this means I can only use it on battery power. And finally, the audio. Now, like a lot of the things that we mentioned earlier, this is highly dependent on the tech that you're already using and what that tech is capable of. But we'll still get into it. The most common things that people use for their audio are built-in mics, wireless earphones, or wired earphones. First of all, mic positioning is very, very important. Just know that wherever direction you're speaking towards, should be where the mic is positioned. So for example, you're looking this way because this is where the camera is and that's the screen where the other person is on your video call, you'd want the mic to be here. Anyway, we'll get more into that later. Now, quality can depend on which particular mic or buds you're using. For me personally, I use earphones and then set my audio input to go to my MacBook mic because one, MacBook mics are generally good and two, well, when I'm on a call, my MacBook is generally in front of me. So ideal scenario, right? When you're using wireless earphones, they're generally okay too. Like, they will make your audio better or louder depending on how good the mics are on what particular wireless earphones you're wearing. But also remember that when you're wearing wireless earphones, they're by your ears which if you think about it is nowhere near where you're speaking into and well, you get my point. So you may have seen people speaking into wired earphones like this on a lot of videos on like TikTok and people do that for a reason. Holding it that way will give you better audio, of course, give or take the quality of the mics on the wired earphones that you have because well, that's where you talk at. Now, because there are so many different factors when it comes to audio, I suggest that you do an audio test, which is really easy. Shoot videos using the different mics and listen back to them. Right, so this is what the audio sounds when I'm using the mic on my MacBook. It's directly in front of me when I do call, so there's that. I have background noise happening behind me. I have the air conditioning on, and this is generally the audio. Now, I have the AirPods on and this is how it sounds. It's a little louder, but you can still hear the background noise. And also, like I mentioned, it's all about positioning. So the mics are here, but you're talking here. And finally, I'm using these earphones. Um, I just found these earphones here in my room. So they're just stock earphones, not necessarily new. They came with some phone. I don't even know which phone. But yeah, this is how it sounds when you're holding it up to your mouth. 
this is where the audio goes so this is actually ideal but the thing is you don't want to be holding up these earphones as you're talking to someone right so here's a hack I actually found this hack from TikTok so I'm gonna try and find it and link it here or down below so you're gonna need your wired earphones and some bobby pins all you need to do is run it through your shirt position it near your mouth and then use the bobby pins to secure it in place there we go and don't don't mind my shirt we've gotten through the video this far i'm still in my jammies okay and this is how it sounds with well my new mic that's on my shirt um i'm still using the wired earphones but it's pinned to my top right now obviously this is not the ideal like direction i'm speaking this way but it's here but i mean as you can hear right now that also works now if after all this you still want to level up your audio you can you can get yourself an external mic which is a whole longer conversation altogether though i did ask a bunch of friends of mine for mic recommendations if you are thinking of doing that jamie oven box and gn of gadget filipinas recommended the bm 800 i'll link that down below special mention to my manager juris who suggested this mic because there's a pink version and it's cute i'll also link that down below meanwhile joshua highly recommends this blue yeti mic for beginners that's available on amazon i'll link it down below and that is how you improve your zoom calls let me know if this video actually helped and let me know if you guys have tips that you would want me to know because i am all for it if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section down below and i will link some of the stuff that i spoke about in this video on the description so that you know where to get them that's it for today folks if you want to see how i use all my tech on a daily basis you can find me online that's at cisa said until next time